are iodine supplements safe for low thyroid? I want you to listen very closely to what I'm saying. Iodine is important for thyroid hormone metabolism. You have to have iodine to be able to make T4. T4 is converted into T3, which is the active thyroid hormone. There is one, one kind of hypothyroidism in which iodine works very well, and that's called primary hypothyroidism. In primary hypothyroidism, the thyroid gland is not excreting and not manufacturing sufficient T4. This is the type of hypothyroidism that responds very well to Synthroid and levothyroxine and, and you know pharmacological therapy drugs. Primary hypothyroidism though is not the most common cause of hypothyroid. The most common cause of hypothyroid in America by far and the world is called Hashimoto's autoimmune thyroiditis. In Hashimoto's your immune system is attacking and trying to kill your thyroid gland. And iodine, switching gears, iodine is used in the gland to make something called, uh, it, it's used with thyroid peroxidase enzymes, TPO enzyme, okay? Iodine stimulates thyroid production. Iodine stimulates TPO. Iodine triggers Hashimoto's. This is, without a doubt, there's no question, there's way too many research studies on this to, to show and prove that iodine is a trigger for Hashimoto's. How do they know? In many places around the world, they've given people prophylactic iodine, meaning, hey, we think our citizens uh, in this area don't have enough iodine in their blood, their TSH levels uh, look weird, uh, they have goiters, uh, let's give them all iodine and correct that. In almost 100% of the cases, when they do that, they also give all of those people Hashimoto's. And that is a horrible thing to have happen because once you have one autoimmune attack, you're going to get more. And in Hashimoto's, okay, in Hashimoto's, it typically can move very quickly into the, 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 parietal, lo the parietal cells in the stomach causing pernicious anemia, into the pancreas causing blood sugar problems, into the cerebellum. It can, it can expand into a bunch of different things. So I want you to listen very closely. There's, there's thousands of people on the Yahoo groups and chat groups saying, I've treated my hypothyroidism uh, with iodine. Therefore, iodine is good for low thyroid symptoms. No, it's not. You have to get tested first to make sure you do not have Hashimoto's. Very simple test to do. You get what's called a TPO antibody test or you get a TGB antibody test. Either one of those things come back positive, do not take iodine. It's very, very simple. People's symptoms get worse when they take iodine and they have Hashimoto's. You, be, you, may, you might be surprised watching this. I get called a murderer and all kinds of wacko things when I say this stuff, but it's true. I'm not telling you that iodine doesn't work on some people because clearly it does. It works on those people that have primary hypothyroidism, but that's not the most common. So please do yourself a favor and be very safe. If you've got classic low thyroid symptoms like fatigue, uh, unexplained weight gain, constipation, dry skin, brittle nails, you know, sluggish mental uh, speed, brain fog, infertility, those are low thyroid symptoms, but please don't try to supplement yourself. Don't medicate yourself. Find someone who understands these things I'm talking about. Find someone who understands a functional perspective, a functional way of looking at these things because that person hopefully will be a good detective and we'll find out what is actually causing those low thyroid symptoms because maybe they're not even low thyroid symptoms. They might be adrenal gland symptoms or brain symptoms. They may not necessarily be thyroid gland symptoms. That person's going to have to do some tests. They're going to have to figure out because look, there's over 24 different ways your thyroid hormones can go wrong. And iodine only really helps one of those. Okay, yes, probably 20 of those are fairly, you know, rare. But the most common is going to be Hashimoto's, and iodine and Hashimoto's has been called in the research literature an explosive mix. Okay? So just got to be safe. You got to be smart about it. And don't try to self-medicate. I'm telling you. I've seen more people get into trouble over the last four years trying to do this. People come in and they find out they've taken iodine, and they feel awful, and they've never really recovered from it. Or they've taken a variety of other things, trying to help themselves, but you've got to realize, this is serious business we're talking about here. You can make yourself worse. So be safe, find someone who understands what I'm talking about, and just realize iodine is not safe for low thyroid symptoms until you find out if you've got Hashimoto's or not. And it might not even be safe at that point because Hashimoto's can be triggered by iodine.